know, the idea is a very simple one. And, you know, the Mamba mentality simply means trying to be the best version of yourself. That's what the mentality means. It means every day you know, you're trying to become better. And it's a constant quest. It's an infinite quest. Hey guys, it's Poker Mindset and Performance Coach Adam Carmel here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. In today's video, we're going to be diving deep into the mindset of Kobe Bryant, who sadly passed away recently. He had one of the strongest mindsets of all time. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing the lessons I've learned from Kobe over the years and how you can apply those approaches to make you a better poker player. So Kobe's nickname was the Black Mamba, which was an alter ego he created for himself so that he could always be in a peak state every time he walked on the basketball court. He even wrote a book called The Mamba Mentality, in which he defines it as this. The Mamba Mentality is more of an approach than anything else. It's about attacking what's in front of you with passion and purpose, without fear and doubt, and without an ounce of quit. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top three lessons I learned from Kobe and how you can apply them to make you a better poker player. Lesson number one, be the best you can be. I had a purpose. I wanted to be one of the best basketball players to ever play. And anything else that was outside of that lane, I didn't have time for. I made that deal with myself at 13 years old. So everything I saw, whether it was TV shows, whether it was books I read, people I talked to, everything was done to try to learn how to become a better basketball player. Everything, everything. And so when you have that point of view, then literally the world becomes your library to help you to become better at your craft. The lesson here is simple. If you're going to do something, do it to the best of your ability. Monday, get better. Tuesday, get better. Wednesday, get better. Every day, the aim is to get better. So as a poker player, are you applying this mentality? Are you trying to improve? Are you studying, learning, trying to grow? Are you treating the world as your library so that you can always be improving and getting better? That's the approach you need to take to become the best you can be. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Reaching your full potential and pushing and striving to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Lesson number two, outwork everyone. If your job is to try to be the best basketball player you can be, mm -hmm. right? To do that, you have to practice, you have to train, right? You want to train as much as you can, as often as you can. So if you get up at 10 in the morning, train at 11, right? 12, say 12, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to two. Um, you have to let your body recover. So you eat, recover, whatever. You get back out, you train, start training again at six. Train from six to eight. Right? And now you go home, you shower, you eat dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you do it again. Right? Those are two sessions. Right? Now imagine you wake up at three, you train at four. You go four to six, come home, breakfast, relax, so, so, blah, blah, blah. Now you're back at it again, nine to 11. Right? You relax, and now all of a sudden you're back at it again, two to four. And now you're back at it again, you know, seven to nine. Look how much more training I have done by simply starting at four. Right? And so now you do that. And as the years go on, the separation that you have with your competitors and your peers just grows larger and larger and larger and larger and larger. And by year five or six, it doesn't matter how, what kind of work they do in the summer, they're never going to catch up. As you can see, Kobe had a crazy, crazy work ethic where he was willing to get up at 4 a.m. so that he'd get four sessions in because he knew everyone else was only training two. He was willing to get up that extra early just because he knew the competition wouldn't do it. So imagine what it'd be like if you could apply just a small fraction of that dedication to poker. Imagine how good you'd be a year from now. How far ahead of the competition would you be, say, 12 months, two years, three years, if you applied this mentality? If you were doing four study sessions a day, let's say, when the rest of the competition doing one, maybe two sessions, how far are you going to separate yourself from them in a very short space of time? Soon there'll be no coming back and you'll be able to excel and the competition will be left in the dust. This is the level of dedication it takes to reach the very top of any field and poker is no different. Lesson number three, treat every challenge as an opportunity to grow. I was thinking like, I don't know if I can do this. Dude, wow. Achilles were like the kiss of death yes. for athletes. Like, yes. I, I don't, I don't know. If I can do this, when I, oh, I went in the trainer's room, my kids are in there and, you know, they're looking at you and stuff and I'm looking at them and I'm like, you know, it's all right. Dad's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. As a parent, you got to set the example. You got to set the example. This, this is another obstacle. This obstacle cannot define me. It's not going to cripple me. It's not going to be responsible for me stepping away for the game that I love. I'm gonna step away on my own terms. 
And that's when the decision was made that, you know what, I'm doing it. The only way to keep on growing is to take on challenges that you didn't think you were capable of overcoming. Another way to look at it is to say there's no failures, only feedback. Every time you don't do well at something, every time you fail, think about this as an opportunity to learn, to grow and get better. It doesn't have to be absolute, I failed at this, I succeeded. Treat it all as a learning curve, all as a process. In poker, you're gonna have some days which are just brutal. They're gonna knock you back. You're gonna feel like the world's against you. Can you use those days, those challenges, those um, opportunities just to grow and get better? So no matter how bad it gets, it's all just growth. It's all just a challenge that you are rising to. What I loved about Kobe was that he was a genius at building an elite mindset. I could have listed a dozen lessons I learned from Kobe over the years because his teachings are so profound and the way he approached mindset was at the highest, highest level. I'm currently working on a new program called Elite Poker Mindset in which I'll be teaching you the advanced mindset strategies I picked up from high performing athletes and high performing poker players over the years. World class poker players and world class athletes have a surprising amount of commonalities when it comes to building an elite level mindset. So look out for that. In the meantime, I've done a free quiz for you guys so you can find out what your current poker mindset level is. So if you click on the link below, there's a quiz, go for the questions and I'll tell you what level your mindset is right now and more importantly, how you can improve it to get better to start building that elite mindset. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like if you haven't already and there's plenty more coming from me very soon.